Now today we are going to start with a new topic that is the refraction. See as we have already you have already done in your previous class about uh, you know about light you know about reflection. So in this class we are going to take up refraction. So the first condition or you can say the first thing which comes into play whenever we are studying refraction is that that in the refraction light passes through a medium like in reflection it was like this suppose uh, there were, uh, the medium was like this so when it strikes certain substance it gets bounced back this uh, phenomena is called as reflection but here we are going to study refraction what which means that when light strike the object it passes through the object so whenever the transmission occurs what is passes pass means transmit so whenever the transmit, uh, transmission of light occurs then this phenomena of refraction comes into play. So we are going to study this phenomena that is the refraction in which we are going to uh, see that how the transmission of light occur or what are the rules or what are the uh, you can say a specific terminology which is which is going to be used for it. So before we start with it I just want you to know about basic see whenever uh, light travel in any medium now what is medium? medium is uh, we refer to any substance other than vacuum like air we have glass we have water etc these all are mediums so what happened whenever light travel in the same medium when light travel in same medium its path is straight line that means suppose light is passing through a air so when it will pass through a air its path is going to remain straight line if a light if i say that light passes through water so when it passes through water it uh, its path remains straight line and similarly when a, when light passes through glass its the path remains straight line but what happened when light passes from one medium to another medium like i say if light passes from air to glass or I say light passes from glass to air or I say light passes from glass to water or vice versa that is water to glass then the path of light no longer remains straight line right again I am repeating see whenever light is traveling in a same medium its path is straight line it is going to travel straight line but when light travels from one medium to another medium then its path no longer remains straight it, it just gets bent we will see that how the bending of light occur but we need to know that when light passes from one medium to another then bending of light occur right that means if light passes from air to glass then also it will bend if the light passes from glass to air then it will bend if light passes from glass to water then it always uh, then again it is going to bend similarly if light passes from water to glass then also the light is going to bend or if we consider any other medium so we say that when light passes from one medium to another medium then the bending of light take place and you know that this bending of light is called as refraction it is called as reflection so we say that what is refraction actually refraction is bending of light rays bending of light rays when they travel when they travel from one medium to another when they travel from one medium to another that is called as refraction you know that we have different kinds of media so we have two uh, uh, two types of media or you can say medium or you can use the term media just a matter of singular plural so we have two types of optically active medium one is denser other is rarer one medium is denser other is rarer now what is the difference between two the denser medium is that in which the density is high and rarer as the name suggests where the density is low. So if we say that density is high so that means the speed of light is going to be fast or speed of light is going to be slow. Obviously it is going to be slow because density is high it will uh, encounter many obstacles so therefore density or uh, this thing the speed of the light is going to be slow. So we say that denser medium density is high and speed of light is slow comparatively in rarer density is low 
therefore speed of light is fast as compared to it. For example, if we consider two medium, let us say glass and water, let us say glass and water which has more density obviously the glass has more density so we say that it is denser and water as compared to it is rarer right so that means uh, if you have any two kind of medium you can easily pick out that which is a denser medium which is a rarer medium just a matter of mass per unit volume that means if mass per unit volume that means density is high then the speed of light is going to be slow if the density is less then the speed of light is going to be high now i'm going to show you the diffraction by drawing figure suppose i have this kind of medium i have one medium let us say that it is rarer, outer one is rarer, let us say this is air outside and this is glass, so comparatively it is denser, so this is denser and outside it is rarer. Now the light strikes, let us say the light strikes like this, it strikes like this, then what happened, uh, it gets bent, it just bent so this is this this is what is called as refraction if it would have if, if it uh, would have wouldn't have bent that means then the path would have been like this but it is not like this it is actually it is actually this that means it is bent it bends so this is called as refraction so i think you got it that what is refraction it is bending of light rays when when they travel from one medium to another medium. Medium can be from denser to rarer or it can it may be rarer to denser. The same thing happens in both the case light bends. So this is what is the refraction. Now what is the cause? Why we see this kind of phenomena? We see the cause is difference in the densities of medium. Difference in the densities of medium that means one being denser other being rarer denser means density high therefore speed of light is slow rarer means density is low therefore speed of light is fast so we see that could, uh, what is the cause it is the difference in the densities of medium due to which the speed of light is different in them so this is the cause now as i've told you with figure so now we are going to start with the terminology that what terms we'll be using in this so I will just rub this line, let us start with the basic thing, suppose the light that strikes the surface, so the light that strikes the surface is called as incident ray. So now if somebody asks you about incident ray, what is that? It is the ray that strikes the surface, it is the ray that strikes the surface. And the point where it strikes, let us say it is O, that is point of incidence. So what is point of incidence? It is point at which incident ray strikes the surface. Now what happened? It gets bent, it gets bent. So let us say it bends like this. So this is incident ray, this is refracted ray, not reflected ray, it is refracted ray. So what is refracted ray? It is ray that changes its path or you can say that it bends, it, it changes its path when it travels from medium 1 to medium Two. whether it is denser or rarer or rarer to denser does not make a difference right so this is a refracted ray now the perpendicular drawn to the point of incidence suppose we draw a perpendicular like this this is a normal ray so what is normal ray it is a perpendicular drawn to surface or point of incidence whatever you can say perpendicular drawn to point of incidence or it is better to use term perpendicular drawn to a surface this is called as normal ray this is called as normal ray now angle between incident ray and normal ray is angle of incidence so angle of incidence is angle between incident ray and normal ray 
this angle this one between normal and refracted ray is angle of refraction. So, it is angle between refracted ray and normal ray and you know that uh, the uh, there is a so this is the uh, complete terminology which we will be using that is the incident ray this one the ray that strikes the surface the point where it strikes is point of incidence ray that changes its path or which bends, bends because of difference in the densities of the medium is the refracted ray perpendicular drawn to the surface is normal this one the angle between this and this is angle of incidence, angle between this and this is angle of refraction. So, this is what is the terminology which is involved in it. Now, if we study about laws, now let us take up laws of refraction. There are certain rules you can say which is to be followed whenever we consider refraction. So, we need to follow certain rules you can say that we need to follow certain rules. So, what, what do we mean by laws of refraction? So, law of refraction is this, first law is this that whenever light passes from rarer to denser medium, let us say that this is a medium like this, this is rarer, this is denser. So, this is my ray, suppose I say it strikes like this, this is my normal ray. So, what happens when light passes from rarer to denser, then what happens? It bends towards normal, it bends towards normal ray. So, it means it bends towards, I will write here bend, it bends towards normal ray, right. Uh, by, uh, and, uh, if we take an opposite condition, that is when light passes from denser to rarer, Suppose I have this, now this is denser and this is rarer, opposite to that. So, what happens, suppose this is my, uh, let us say that this is my incident ray and this is my normal ray. Now, what happens when light passes from denser to rarer, we know that in rarer the density is less, therefore speed will increase, we have already discussed. So, that means it bends away from normal, it bends away from normal. So, we say that it bent away from normal ray. So, this is the second rule. Third rule is that suppose we have uh, like this uh, medium like this. So, whenever light enters normally, suppose the light is entering normally that means normal ray and incident ray are coinciding. So, at that time it passes straight, it passes straight, whether it passes from top to bottom or it passes from down, downward also, then also it passes straight. So, a ray falling normally, a ray falling normally goes straight and in this case even the angle of incidence is 0 and even the angle of refraction is 0. So, we can say that these are the laws or you can say that these are the rules actually because in the higher classes you will be studying laws and the laws are going to be somehow different. These are these, these will be used as rules and we will be using the laws certain but at your level we will be doing these things as laws otherwise these are actually rules for your uh, you, uh, so that you should not get confused I will discuss the laws also otherwise it is not in your syllabus but still to make you more familiar with this chapter. So, laws of refraction is actually is that incident ray, normal ray and refracted ray all lie on same plane of paper, they lie on same plane of paper this is the first law that we will be doing in the 10th standard and the second is if we take the value of sin of angle i and to, uh, uh, ratio of sin of angle i to sin of angle r is always constant for particular pair of media pair means like air to glass, glass to air, it is fixed actually, the ratio is fixed for fixed mediums. So, and you know that there is a special name given to this thing that is a Snell's law, that is the Snell's law.
you must be getting confused because i think you're not familiar with sine cos tan so you'll be doing in 10th standard when you'll uh, go to a higher uh, standard you'll be doing uh, this uh, this thing sine cos tan in maths then you'll come to know that it is sim it is not a uh, anything uh, difficult it is just a law and we need to put only the values of the angles but uh, for this moment uh, i just want you to go through only these rules as laws because this is included in your syllabus otherwise uh, you won't get a uh, question from this but this nels law is actually uh, the other name for it is other name for it is refractive index so this we'll be discussing in this chapter but the we won't be using sin i or sin r we'll uh, just comparing the speed of light in different mediums and that we'll be calling it as refractive index don't get uh, panic yeah this is so easy so don't worry so as for now i think it's clear that uh, whenever light passes in one medium its uh, path is straight line when it travels from one medium to another it bends this bending is refraction types of medium is clear cause difference in the densities due to which speed of light is different this terminology i think you got it and uh, the rules you know that the when the light passes from rarer to denser it bends towards normal so in this case refractive uh, uh, this thing refraction angle angle of refraction is going to be less than angle of incidence and when the light passes from denser to rarer this angle is going to be greater so angle of uh, refraction is going to be greater than angle i and when it passes straight the angle is zero so this is uh, the basic introduction of the refraction now we will be taking another topic of this chapter that what is refractive index and what are the consequences of refraction that what you get to see